so hello everyone welcome to yerpedia education so this video is going to be very helpful for those students who are looking forward to prepare for instrumentation engineer position in the recruitment of hpcl the very first thing is a great opportunity there is a significant number of vacancy you all must write this exam and you all equally hold the probability of getting selected if you start preparing from today only you know they are going to conduct a separate written test for this they are not going to take through the gate exam they will conduct written test which will be of mcq type there will be no negative marking and 170 total question will be there 85 non tech and 85 technical from the domain knowledge now today in this video i am going to talk about instrumentation engineering see instrumentation engineering guys you know is basically uh, engineering of measurement and automation and whenever we talk about the automation so technology plays very very important role so you see in the previous year paper which was conducted by the hpcl there were a very good significant number of questions asked from iot internet of things plc scada machine learning artificial intelligence fuzzy logics etc so in this video i want to suggest you all if you want to prepare for this exam don't prepare in the depth but prepare in the width means you cannot be choosy you can't choose that these are the subject basically which i'm going to prepare and these are the subject which i will be leaving officially yes they released one syllabus which include 16 to 17 topic you can see it is including 17 topic soft computing artificial intelligence machine learning is there good two to three question were asked in the previous year exam and similarly you can see industrial internet of thing this is a very important topic especially for the instrumentation engineering there were very good one and two question in the previous year paper and apart from this if i talk programming engineering and management there were question from this section also and then we come to industrial automation and control and optimization and optimal control and very important microprocessor see microprocessor is very very important topic for the instrumentation people see when we talk about the measurement there might be different blocks or electronic component or electronic subsystem or electrical system which might be interfering with each other when you are interfacing multiple devices with each other so obviously you need to know their behavior their characteristics and their modeling so you must have some fundamental knowledge of the communication also and at the same time you must have a very good knowledge of the device so if i talk about the electronics device you must hold a very good knowledge of the analog electronics same you must hold a very good knowledge of the power electronics so it might be a bit weird for the instrumentation student that do we need to prepare the power electronics yes there are two to three questions which were asked in the previous year exam from the power electronics see if you ask me sir do we need to prepare these 17 topic in the well depth it's not possible in the span of two to three months so that's what i told you people in the beginning instrumentation engineering if you are writing exam for hpcl don't go into depth go into width means at least get a significant overview of these all topic whatever mentioned here don't be in the you know situation that okay i have prepared my core instrumentation topic for the gate exam i have written also the es exam and i have got a good amount of the confidence in those exam the same strategy is going to work for the hpcl no in hpcl i am telling you time and again there are addition of some additional topic or some separate topic or some different topic and there were good 20 to 23 question which were asked from those topic which you don't regularly studying under the instrumentation curriculum and you know if we talk about the cutoff for the hpcl out of 170 140 is the tentative cutoff for the general category so if you don't prepare for those 15 to 20 topic then you will be in the trouble now sir you are saying don't go into depth just prepare from the outside prepare the width only let us suppose you want to prepare edc in edc there are so many kind of the devices photodiode is there led is there you know in power electronics so diac is there triac is there so you don't need to go into inside detail what kind of material used what are their voltage current characteristics in how many region does they operate what are the application in each region these kind of question they will ask 
Similarly, if you ask about analog electronics, how you can draw the square wave generator, how you can convert square wave to triangular wave, what are the operational amplifier application in the linear mode, non-linear mode, what is chemical triggers, what is the hysteresis width, what is the frequency of oscillation of the stable multivibrator, simply remember the formula. And similarly, you know, BJT and MOSFET can be operated in the multiple configuration. Common emitter, common waste, common collector, common source, common drain, common gate. So you don't need to go into inside analysis. Just remember their GAN formula, what is their voltage GAN formula for common emitter with emitter resistance, without emitter resistance. And what are their frequency response? Is it a kind of band pass? Is it a kind of low pass? Is it a kind of high pass? And what all factors are responsible for lower cutoff frequency and higher cutoff frequency? Now, if I talk about the oscillator, how many type of oscillator do we have? What is the difference between the sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal oscillator? What are their frequency of oscillation formula? So simply remember that for the RC phase shift, Van Vridge, Hartley, Colpit, etc. And very important topic, crystal oscillator from the analog electronics is very, very important topic. And second thing, when we talk about the operational amplifier, operational amplifier plays very, very important role in the instrumentation engineering. So go and check the data sheet of the 741 IC and see what all parameters are mentioned there. PSRR, power, power supply rejection ratio, CMRR, slew rate, what are their idle value, what are their practical value, what is the bandwidth of the operational amplifier. Is it clear? So these kind of questions from the outside world you need to prepare. Amplifier can have any kind of the circuit model. It can be transconductance, it can be trans resistance, it can be voltage, it can be current amplifier. What are their idle characteristics? What are their practical characteristics? What about their input resistance? What about their output resistance? Similarly, feedback amplifier. What are the different topologies of the feedback? What is the effect of the voltage series, voltage and current series constant on the input resistance and output resistance? So guys, these kind of outer knowledge you need to get for each of the topic, whatever I had mentioned here. So I was talking about basically, you know, electronics point of view. Similarly, if I talk about the microprocessor, there were many questions related to memory interfacing, input output interfacing. There were many questions related to machine cycle instruction. And there were many questions related to T state. There were many questions related to interrupts. And addressing mode, yes, there were questions. So these are three to four topics which you need to prepare in the well detail. I'm not saying, okay, go and just remember the formula. At least while referring any of the notes, start making the short note. Because I am sure before two to three days of your final exam, you will be not in position that you can revise all the 17 topics from zero to top. If you had made the short note very effectively during your preparation, finally those short notes will be going to assist you people in the final exam and they will be assisting you to correct the exam. So this is the basic and fundamental strategies. Don't get you, you know any question on your ego. If you are not in position to solve any kind of the complex question, don't unnecessarily waste time on that. Because in one 50 minute you need to solve 170 question. No negative marking, it means more and more number of questions you will solve, you will have the maximum probability of getting selected. So apart from preparation, there are so many factors which you need to take into consideration. Similarly, if you talk about the first topic, that is the electrical engineering, electrical and electronics measurement. So they had mentioned very clearly electrical circuit. So they will be asking some questions related to the network theory. Second, they had mentioned analog meters, resistance, inductance, capacitance measurement. There are so many kind of the bridges. You must know the property of each kind of bridges, right? Then they had mentioned signal generator analyzer, energy and power measurement. What are the different method of the energy and power measurement? What are the different formula involved, right? And similarly, digital electronics, they are asking questions related to PLD, combinational, logical circuit, sequential circuit. See, in digital circuit, logic family is very, very important topic. Straight away, they had asked two to three questions from the logic family and directly on the basis of the comparison. And similarly, coming down, these are basically transducer, sensor, actuator and automation, very core part of the instrumentation. And then this is the control system C. When we talk about the instrumentation, so control system is one topic and process control and optimum control is the other topic. And there were very good significant questions which were asked from the controller section related to PID controller, related to tuning, related to calibration and various questions were related to the process control concept. So don't only focus on the control system which you prepared for the gate. Apart from the gate, there are many additional topics which are mentioned here and many questions were asked from there. 
so guys this is the syllabus and in power electronics i know power electronics is a very vast subject so you can't go and study the entire power electronics but at least take the short note from that vast subject you must be very sure about why these are known as the power diode what are their voltage rating what are their power rating what is the ranges for that right what are the frequency on which they operate there are many kind of the power electronics device they have the different frequency operations they have the different purpose they have the different objective like free wheeling diode what is the purpose of free wheeling diode what are the different kind of the commutational technique which of the following is the best so these kind of questions straight away you need to prepare if you start going into depth finding the reason finding the detailed analysis you don't need to do r and d here especially in those subject which are not in your ambit or which are not related to your core engineering ultimately if you study like this you start unnecessarily going into detail you start unnecessarily doing the r and d for your satisfaction you will end up losing this opportunity reason i am sure you all might be in the continuation of the preparation many might be preparing for the gate exam and many might be preparing for some other kind of the competitive exam and suddenly this exam can in between so keep your preparation strategy as it is but also make a schedule for this exam because this demand just a practice just the art of making the short note and summarizing more and or more topic the most and most possible topic you can cover you can maximize your selection chances don't leave the topic because in previous year paper i have seen they randomly have asked question even from the very small topic so they had asked question related to risc which they had mentioned here in the microprocessor you can see here risc microcontroller so one or two question they have asked from this only so many time i have seen students start studying microprocessor up to the gate syllabus there is a very limited syllabus but you need to prepare whatever topic they mentioned here for sure they are going to ask question from these so my suggestion to all of you is concluding don't only rely on your core instrumentation engineering subject there are student who keep on asking me or connecting us sir i have written gate in instrumentation and i had subject the i had a very good hold over the subject of instrumentation engineering so is it enough to crack the hpcl exam no it's not enough there are 17 topic they had mentioned that to with the further categorization means you need to equally prepare the other topic also and very soon your pedia education is going to launch module for that in which each and every topic whatever mentioned here will be discussed in the proper format as per the relevancy and requirement of the exam within the you know limit we will not go unnecessary depth we will not waste unnecessary time but we will try to cover as much as possible topic whatever mentioned here in the syllabus so till then we wish you all the best start preparing don't lose this opportunity this is really a great opportunity for all the student who are just passed out in 2023 or there might be many student who might be struggling and writing gate exam for so many years but they are not getting result in their favor so this is one of the golden opportunity for you people you can fulfill your dream by securing this position thank you